Like many people, when I first started painting miniatures, I didn't know anything about color theory. So when I wanted to mix uh, a highlight or a lighter version of color, I would just add white. And if I wanted to mix a darker or shadow version of color, I would just add black. And it took me a really long time to figure out why the results were never exactly what I was hoping for. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick rule of thumb for how to mix highlight and shadow colors. Okay, to start, you're going to need a color wheel. Now, you don't necessarily need to buy one, as there are hundreds of them online. Uh, although, uh, if you've never used one before, I do recommend having one. So, they're cheap. Go buy one. I'll even put a link in the description to make it easier. Since I want to keep this short, I'm just going to explain the concept to you. Uh, if you want to dig into it more, I'll include some links in the description. Let's talk shadow colors. To mix a shadow color, take your base color, find it on the color wheel. Then, look across from that, the opposite color of your base color. That's the color you want to slowly add to your base color in order to darken it up. It's kind of a shortcut. Uh, add it a little at a time, and as you approach a 50-50 mix, you probably end up with more of a brown, and you, since you don't want that, don't go 50-50. Uh, if you get it dark and you see that it's starting to turn uh, brown, you can also just add black at that point. The idea here is that you want to keep your color rich, but also make it darker. Uh, and also keep in mind that, you know, that brown might come in handy later for other experiments. Uh, the example here is from my video, How to Mix a Darker Red, which is really sort of the inspiration for this video. Uh, in this example, I'm taking a red, I'm adding green to make a darker red. All right, on to highlights. With highlights, you want to find your base color and then find the next step up closer to yellow on the color wheel. So for example, if your starting color was red, orange would be the next step up. You would add orange to your red with some white to get a highlight color. Again, adding this color in addition to white will brighten the color, not just lighten the color, which means you won't end up with a pastel color. Obviously, this is just a simple rule of thumb and not a law. There are a lot of different ways you can approach this, and these aren't the only ways to enrich your color or to create highlights or to create shadows, but it's just one way. If you have another way and you want to share it with the community, definitely post that in the comments. I would love to hear about it, as I'm sure everybody else would. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. and. Thanks again to all of my Patreon subscribers. Uh, and if you would like to become a Patreon subscriber, please be sure to check the link in the description. Thanks a lot, and uh, I will see you in the next video.